Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for this day that you have made, Lord. Lord, it's a day like no other. We thank you, Father. We are just so, Father, uh, excited, Lord, for what you have in store for us. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for thanking enough of us for to give us this day. So, Lord, we thank you. Holy Spirit, I know you now as a master teacher, so I'll step back that you may step forward. And you would teach us the word. Yes, I thank you, Father, now for hiding me behind the cross that your people will only hear and see you. Yes, God. So, Lord, when it's all said and done, I will praise you, I will glorify you, yes, and I will honor you yes, for you uh, deciding to use me on today. Yes, thank you, Father, yes, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, amen. 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 And amen. amen. All right, let's bless the Lord. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, and we know that we're uh, we are uh, in our zone, the uh, correction zone. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, and we are teaching about righteous correction. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Tell your neighbor, say, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's where we're at. That's where we're at. All right, so um, let's go there. 2 Timothy chapter 3, uh, starting at verse 16. We're reading the Amplified Version. All right. Amen. Verse 16 says, all scripture is God-breathed, given by divine inspiration, and is profitable for instruction, for conviction of sin, for correction of error and restoration to obedience, for training in righteousness, learning to live in conformity to God's will, meaning in agreement, both publicly and privately. Behaving honorably with personal integrity and moral courage. Verse 17. So that the man of God, meaning all believers, may be complete, watch this, and proficient, outfitted, and thoroughly equipped for every good work. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Most High God. Amen. We're teaching on righteous correction, the turning point. Righteous Amen. correction. The turning point, righteous correction. And uh, we know uh, that righteousness is very simply put, it's being in right standing with God. Amen. Meaning that you and God, y'all are okay. Y'all are good. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say, God and I, we're good. We're good. Uh, we're good. Yeah. Uh, we have to understand that's simply what that means. Yeah. And that's important for a believer to really know and really get in their heart. That um, you and God are good. Yeah, right? Because we understand that we live in a life that's not perfect. Amen. So therefore, we're not perfect. So we're always making mistakes. We're making errors, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the day, God says, but we're still good. Amen. Now, he's saying, I'm not going to ignore your behavior. Now, I'm not going to ignore that, but I need you to understand that we're still good. So I'm going to work with you. Amen. That's good. Amen. I'm going to get Amen. alongside with you, and I'm going to work with you. Yeah. I'm not here to beat you up or anything like that. I'm not here for to try to make you feel bad about yourself or anything like that because I'm a good father. Amen. Right. I'm a very, very, very good yeah. father, and I love you. You are my child. Yeah. That's good by itself. Yeah. You are my child, yeah. and I'm not going to leave you nor forsaking you. Yeah. All right? I'm not going to leave you by yourself, although you may feel like you by yourself. Yeah. I'm not going to leave you by yourself. Yes, I'm going to stay right here with you. Yeah. When everybody else decides to leave you, yeah. I need you for to know your father is going to still be right here. Yeah. So if you mess up on that job, I need you to understand I'm going to be right there and I'm going to usher you through that correction. And I'm going to get you straight and yeah. you're going to be all right. Amen. Because you and I, we are good. Yeah. And I need you for to remember, since I am your father, yeah. the heart of the king is in my hand. Yeah. So your boss is in my hand. Yeah. That situation is in my hand. Your life is in my hand. Whatever you face is in my hand. I need you to understand I'm a good father. Understand now that you and I we're good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, 
again. All right, so now I understand now. So now since I'm in the correction zone, because I have to understand now. So now God now, since I have an understanding that him and I are good, now he got to correct my behavior. Yeah, amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. amen. amen. Because I understand that's simply what holiness is. Yeah. It's my behavior. It's how well I behave. Yeah. yeah. Right? Okay, I understand. I have to understand it, right? Right? I understand. Yeah, I'm saved now. I'm with God now. But now my, my behavior got to change. Yes. Yeah. 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 Now, now, the word of God is there for the wash me, right? Yeah. It's for to clean me up, yeah. right? It's for to make sure that I'm on the correct path. Yeah. All right? It's to bring, watch this, it's to bring to the forefront the issues of life that I currently have. Then, watch this now, and then it's to also allow me, okay, these are the issues we have, but watch this. I'm with you. Yeah. Yes. Right. Come on, yes. that's good. I'm with you. So I need you to know I am not going to leave you by yourself for the face what I have revealed to you. Yes, amen. Because I'm a good, good father. Yes. I need you for the grab that. That's very, very, very critical. All right, watch this now. So now, when we look at uh, righteous correction zone, let's let's look at that uh, because we know that's the area that only consists of change, designed to improve uh, and make right according to God's ways of doing things and living according to His standards and principles. All right, watch this now. So I understand I'm in an area that only consists of change when I'm in the righteous correction zone. Yeah. I don't just want to be in a correction zone. Right. I just don't want to be in a space to where I'm being corrected. Yeah. No, 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 no. I need it to be righteous correction, though. Amen. I need it to be the type of correction, right, that's according to God's standards. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's very important. According to his principles. According to the way God sees things. Yeah. You know, I always give you the example like, okay, I'm going to correct you, but I'm going to correct you in love. Yeah, yeah. Amen. That's righteous correction. Uh -huh. Watch that. I can still correct you, but if I'm not coming from love, that's just correction. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. So now I have corrected you, but I've also maybe embarrassed you. Yeah, yeah. That's a big difference, yeah. right? So I'm not here to embarrass you. That's God. I'm not here to embarrass you. No, 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 no. God say, I am here to correct you in the way that you are going to receive it based off my love. Yeah. Amen. Come on now. You know your grandmother, she come, you know, and pull you to the side. Um, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. She pull you to the side yeah. and be like, look, now, hold, hold on now. Now, I don't want you to do that no more, buddy. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Come on. And then, and then she be like, because you know I love you. Yeah. Then she make your jelly cake. Yeah. All right. All right. I said jelly cake. All right. Then she make your own jelly cake, something yeah. like that. You know what? She's expressing. Yeah. I'm still here with you. Yeah. Uh, I'm your grandmother, and I love you. Yeah. Right? But I cannot let that slide. Amen. Right? Amen. Come on now. Yeah. Now I'm not gonna yell at you in the grocery store. Yeah. That's embarrassing. Yeah. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pull you to the side. Yeah. And when I get you to that car, I'm sorry. But anyway. Um, <laughs> right? But watch this. We get the gist, right? But right. God's like, no, no, no. I'm not no evil God or anything like that. Right? I'm a good, loving father. Yes. Yes. Right? Who care for my children. Yes. Right? I need you to grab it. Right? So when I'm in the righteous correction zone, I understand that area only consists of change. Designed to improve and make my life right according to God's ways of doing things and living according to his standards, his standards of living, all right, his principles of living. I have to grab that. No, 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 no. I'm not going to uh, do it, you know, half and half, two for two. Yeah, no, no, no. Just because you got me straight, I'm not about to get you straight. Yeah. That's not God's way of doing things. However, tell your neighbor, say, but how you? How you? Now, but I'm going to address you now in a loving manner. Yeah. Hey, you know, we need to have a discussion about this. Yeah. We need to talk. Amen. Come on now, right? And we're gonna lay it all on the table. All right, hey, you know, you know, I didn't appreciate, you know, the way that you talked to me, and da, 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 da. Hey, it made me feel this way. And hey, you know, I respect you and I love you. And X Y Z, da 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 da. What I'm doing? Okay, I'm talking to you according to the way that God says I should. Yeah. Yeah. God standards, 
his way of doing things. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Somebody, well, you being a pushover. No, I'm not being a pushover. I just have standards. Yeah. I'm not willing to stoop down to somebody else's level. Yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah. Why? Because I am the light. Yeah. I am the yeah. example. Yeah. I am the righteousness of God. Yeah. I am here, watch this, to demonstrate God's ways in the earth ring. Yeah. Come on, it does not mean I do not have power. Because I still have power and authority. Because I can go and I can start praying for you. And you won't be able to sleep, you know, tonight or the next night. Because you're going to be thinking about how bad you did me. And you're going to be thinking about how loving I was when I came to you. And that's going to touch your heart. And that's going to allow you for to come to me sooner or later. And be like, you know what? You right. All right, see, y'all yeah. all right? Y'all here today? Yeah. Okay, so now I got to understand. Hold on. That's God's way of doing things. Yeah. Right? Right? That, that's, that's, his, that's his principal way of doing things, right? Yeah. All right, so I have to grab that because God, watch this now. God is always, uh, uh, he, he always has increase on his mind. Yeah, right? amen. He always want to increase us and expand us. Yeah. All right, all right. So I have to understand. Hold on now. Uh, God wants me, he wants my behavior, he wants my actions for that line up with his word. Yeah, amen. I got to grab that. Amen. Now, now, I got to get this. Let me go here to September real fast. Now, we know September is refocusing on the inner you to strategize, achieve your goals, and to prosper in every area of your life. Now, I have to go to September because I have to understand now, when we're looking at righteous correction, it's all about refocusing on the inner you. Yeah. Amen. Oftentimes, we attempt to dress up our outer, our outer us. I want to yeah. say our outer you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Our outer us. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 right? Watch this now. And God said, no, 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 no. Let's work on the inner you. Yeah. Yeah. Because watch, look what the scripture says. It says, no, 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 no. God is, he's concerned about learning us for us to live in agreement to his will, both publicly and privately. Right. Right. Yeah. So I understand God want to get me uh, together privately because he understands how I behave privately will eventually show up publicly. Yeah. Amen. Can I get a witness to that? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, how I behave privately, y'all know what I say, if I mean to jump your dog in the house, eventually, in public, it's going to come out. Because you know what I say, the example I say, somebody is sitting in the food line parking lot, and they watching you. And I know you may not believe it, but you a superstar. Somebody is in that parking lot watching you. Come on, somebody. You know, all eyes on me. Everybody. Somebody is always watching you. You ever had somebody come to you and be like, yeah, I saw you the other day. You're like, where? Yeah. <laughs> you know what you're doing. Like, where? You're like, you know you did something. Yeah. You're like, where? Because you saying, hold on a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. I hope they didn't see me right. when I was acting yeah. up right. in that line. Yeah. After I've been standing in that line, you know somebody at Walmart, you know they only got two registers over in the whole store. Come on, somebody, stop. Come on, somebody. Whole store's on two registers over, and I'm sitting there like, I wish they'd hurry up. I hope they ain't see it here. Come on, somebody. Why? Because I'm like that home. That's right. Amen. No, because, you know, uh, I'm patient. Up to a certain time period. Yeah, I'm good with you for five, ten minutes. Yeah. Fifteen, twenty minutes. Yeah. Facing the same thing. Yeah. I, I'm about to lose it now. Y'all yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, 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 come on. Yeah. Because see, when I went to the store, I already timed everything. Uh -huh. yeah. I got somewhere else I have to be now. Yeah, that's right. So now, since you are at work, Running the cash register, and you know you got to be here for eight or nine hours, so you going real slow with that customer up there ringing that thing, and I'm saying, I wish I could come up there and ring that stuff myself and hurry on up and get on up out of here, but be careful, because you may find yourself at that cash register ringing up that, I wouldn't hang out. I ain't got no help. I, I done been there. 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 Because you was putting your mouth on them yeah. while you in that line. Y'all yeah. 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 all right? 
Am I helping anybody? Tell you next day, it's going to get gooder and gooder. Don't worry. Yes, okay, watch this now. So I got to understand. Hold on now. Understand. No, this month, it's about refocusing on the inner me. Because God wants the inner me good. Amen. So when I do show up in public, I represent well. Right. Now, it's very important for to represent well in public. Now, I want to represent well in private. Absolutely, I want to. But I have to understand, my light got to shine. Amen. Amen. Because it's my light that shine that draws men unto God. I got to grab that. And I am the righteousness of God. So since I am in right standing with God, I don't have to rehearse how bad I've been, you know, over the weeks and over the years. I don't got to rehearse that no more. Okay? God, now we good. We working on that. So now I can keep letting my light shine. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Now, I got to see that. Take them say, see that, see that, see that. All right, so now let's look at something. Let's look at something. Let's go here now. Uh, let's go to Romans 8. Let's go to Romans 8. Let's go to Romans 8, chapter 1. Because now, I got to understand here. Since I'm in this righteous correction, all right, and God is working on my inner self. All right, this is so key. This is so key. He's working on my inner self. I have to understand now that God, I'm serious when I say this, God does not want me feeling bad about mistakes, but he do want me for the address them. Amen. Amen. Woo, that Amen. is so important there. Because if you and I are not careful, when we make mistakes or mistakes from our past begin to come up, we feel so terrible that we will not go to God. Yeah. That we will not see ourselves in Scripture. You know the good stuff that's in the Scripture. Yeah, right. you, you just can't see yourself in the stuff that's, you know, that's a little challenging in the Scripture. Yeah, right. You got to see yourself in the good stuff as well. Yeah. Right? I came that you may have life. Yeah. Come on, brother. Yeah. That you may have life and have it more abundantly. Yeah. I didn't come that you just live life and just exist. Come on. I came that you would live it up to the full running over. Yeah. That you wake up every single day saying, this is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. I'm going to tell you, I done made up my mind. I'm going to be glad in this day. I don't care what pop up. I'm going to be glad in this day because this is the day that the Lord has made. I will, I shall rejoice. What am I saying? I am letting my atmosphere know. I don't care what type of book or bag come and pop up. It's not going to matter. Because I'm going to see God in every situation. Because I know there's always a God there moment. Whatever pops up in my life, I know God is there. Whatever happens in my life, I know that God is there. Whatever I feel in life, I know that God is there. 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 Watch this. Watch this now. Look what it says. Verse 1. Amplified says, therefore, there is now no oh, 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 condemnation, yes. no guilty verdict, no punishment for those who are in Christ Jesus, who believe in him as personal Lord and Savior. Whoa. As personal Lord and Savior. Therefore, there is now, shout now, now. Yeah. There's now no condemnation. Now, look what God is saying. Look at Paul. Paul said, this is the main problem right here. Mm -hmm. This is the main problem right here. This is the main problem. This is why people, watch this now, will not face things that God showed them. Because they're condemned by it rather than being convicted. And if we're not careful, we will get the two intermingled. Take yeah. them say, he's going to show you, don't worry. Gonna now, I got to understand. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, here it is. We must pay more attention to what we hear. Yeah. Okay. That is. That is. Because if I keep hearing, y'all know what I'm saying? If I keep hearing, I'm a bad boy. I'm a bad boy based on how I behave. You bad. You bad. You, 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 you did this. You did this five years ago. You did this eight years ago. You did this last week. And then you this. And then you that. And then da 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 And then you talk to somebody else, and they're, still, they're talking about their past. I know. Because, you know, I wish I could go back and I could change this. I wish I could change that. And then you hear somebody else say, I tell you, if I knew then what I know now, I'd do this. But yet, you ain't done nothing no different. All right? Then you go around somebody else, and they're like, I tell you right now, time's just bad. I don't know what we're going to do. I tell you, it might be a recession. 
it might be this. Every time I turn around, another bill keep popping up. Every time I turn around, I keep getting blessed, but I keep getting more stressed. I just don't know what the world I'm going to do. All you keep hearing is guilt, 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 guilt. Ain't nobody talking. All you keep hearing is guilt, 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 and you just keep thinking I'm guilty. But look what Romans 10 verse 17 said. It says, so faith comes from hearing what is told and what is heard comes by the preaching of the message concerning Christ. So faith comes from hearing what is told. So then faith comes from hearing what is told. So who I'm around is telling the report. Who I'm around is telling a report. So if I keep hearing a negative report over and over and over again, when God tells me, look, you're over that now, I'm not going to believe that. Because I've been fed more negativity than positive. Are y'all here today? No, that makes, come on, I got to say, that makes the difference. That is the difference maker because that's why I got to pay more attention to what I'm hearing. I cannot keep hearing the same negative stuff over and over and think I'm going to get different results. Now, guess how I deal with it. Say, how, Pastor? How? See, what I do is, if I am in a conversation, I'm engaging in a conversation with someone, and as soon as they start talking negative, I start bringing out the positive in the negative. Yeah, that's right. And if I keep giving enough positives, it changes the negative into a positive. Yeah. That's simple math yeah, then. Yeah. All right, y'all hear the day. All right now. So now what I do, I positive, I positive him to life. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Y'all hear? Yes, sir. I'm positive to them. I'm yeah. positive yeah. to life. Yeah. So I keep putting positive. I keep inserting positive. Keep inserting positive. And the next day you know, they positive. Yeah. But what am I doing? I am letting them know you can bring negative, yeah. but every time I'm going to change it into a positive. Yeah. And then they catch the revelation. Yeah. When you talk to Ron, yeah. you might as well be positive because he's going to change everything you say yeah. into a positive. Yeah. Ain't nobody talking. And what they do? Did they turn around? Y'all ain't gonna talk. And somebody else start bringing negative to them. And then they think about wrong. Well, let me turn it into a positive. And the next thing you know, they're turning that positive. Come on, somebody. They are going in there and they are changing people. Hey, they say, I didn't know I was so positive. I didn't know what. I really didn't know it. Now, I gotta grab that. Right? So now, you, y'all ready? You are in charge of your book. Amen. You are a writer. Yeah. Uh oh. You are a writer. And you are writing your life. Come on, somebody. And anybody who enters your life, you have the right for to rewrite the script that they're trying to insert in your book. Who am I talking to in this house? Who is sad to be a sick and tired? Be a sick and tired of letting other people write their life when you know what your life ought to be looking like. So what? Uh, okay, y'all ready? Y'all ready to learn a little bit? Okay, let me say, I'm ready to learn, baby. I'm ready to learn. All right, now, so let's look at this now. Let's look at this condemnation. Look, look what it is. It's feelings of guilt, shame. Oh, yeah, boy. Boy, is this ugly. Ain't it? Regret. Yeah. God said, now it's none of that. Regret, fear, and unworthiness from a past mistake or experience. Oh, oh my God. Hold on. We all can bear witness to that. We all can bear witness to that. Oh, man. You can wake up some days like that. Who am I talking to? You can wake up some days like that. And you got to grab a hold. Hold on. Something not right. While I was asleep. Something happened. Yes, yeah. Come on, come on. Yes, something yeah. came over me. Yeah. Uh-oh, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Something beat me before I got up. Yeah. Yeah. Something came over me. Come on, come on somebody. Yeah. Come on, no, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm, not about, I'm not about to let that happen today. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. There's now no condemnation. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. My life is not as bad as the book of God keeps saying it is. Yeah. My life is changing. I am 
it says now. Look what it says. John uh, chapter 16. Let's go to verse 8. All right, watch this now. I need verse 6. Because we understand, uh, now no condemnation. Yes. Huh? Say now. Now. No. No. Con. Condemnation. Say now. Now. No. No. Con. Condemnation. Say no more. No more. Feelings. Feelings. Of guilt. Of guilt. No more. No more. Feelings. Feelings. Of shame. Of shame. Shout no more. No more. Feelings. Feelings. Of regret. Of regret. Shout no more. No more. Feelings. Feelings. Of fear. Of fear. Shout no more. No more. It's no more of that now. Yeah. And I need you to understand, there's no more of that. So we're about to clear the record. All right. All right. We are not about to wake up another day, beating ourselves up for stuff that God said he forgave us on. We're going to work on it, and we're going to keep it moving. Because I am the righteousness of God. Yeah. Look what it says. Watch verse 8, amplify verse. It says, and he, look what it says now. When he comes, talking about Holy Ghost, yeah. Holy Spirit, yeah. will convict the world about the guilt of sin and the need for a Savior. And about righteousness and about judgment, about sin and the true nature of it. Yeah. Because they do not believe in me and my message about righteousness. Personal integrity and godly care, because I am going to my father, and you will no longer see me. About judgment, the certainty of it, because the ruler of this world, Satan, has been judged and condemned. But now, verse 8 says, and he, when he comes, will convict the world. Now, well, the Holy Spirit gonna convict you. Yeah. yeah. But let's look at conviction. It's a thought of persuasion. Well, this is so good. So what Holy Spirit does, Toby, Holy Spirit convicts you of something that's not in line with God. Yeah. But it's a thought that persuades you. Yeah. It does not make you feel guilty, but it persuades you that this is not the right way. Yeah. Yeah. God, have mercy. Hold on. Look what he said. It's a thought of persuasion. So it persuades you. You know you don't talk to people like yeah. that. Ooh. It persuades you. Come on now. Yeah. You know you gotta love everybody, yeah. regardless of what they do. Yeah. Come on, somebody. It's a thought of persuasion. Yeah. You know you gotta go out and do something good for such and such. It's convicting you. Yeah. It's a thought of persuasion. Yeah. Come on now. It's yeah. not a thought of guilt. Right. So we cannot mix the two up when God shows us something within ourselves. That's a thought of persuasion. It's persuading you. Let's deal with this. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all see it? Yeah. Let's go. Let's deal with this. Why? Because it is reconfirming the need for a savior. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Look, yeah. it's letting you know you need Jesus. Jesus. There is old school. Yeah. You need Jesus. Yep. Yeah, uh-huh. You need a savior. Yeah. You need to be saved. Yeah. Yes, you do. Why am I already saved? Pastor, come on, come on. I need you to understand though. No, no, no. Uh, salvation is progressing. Yeah. Every day you being saved. Yeah. Amen. Another part of your life is being saved. So you need conviction. You need a thought of persuasion. Because if you're not fully persuaded that something is not right, yeah. then you will continue to do that that you're not fully persuaded of. Yes, amen. So the law, what it does is brings to your attention what's wrong. Right. But the law by itself, according to scripture, cannot save you. Right. Yes. The law, watch this, man, it's like a mirror. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Here it is. It's like a mirror. The law, it even says it in scripture. I'll get into that next Sunday. It's like a mirror. Uh -huh. All right? In the mirror, when you go to the mirror, you and I go to the mirror not thinking that we are the most Cutest or beautiful. Go ahead, Jesus. Go ahead. We go to the mirror because we know something ain't right. Yeah. yeah. When you wake up in the morning, you go to the mirror because yeah. you want to get that crust out of them eyes. That's right. That's right. And if I talk, yeah, I had to throw a little humor in there. Yeah, I know the lesson a little yeah. tight, right? All right. All right. I got to grab it. Hold on. You go to the mirror and you are 
are expecting the mirror to show you what's wrong. Yeah. 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 Come on, somebody. But you don't expect the mirror to fix you. That's right. If, are y'all here? Right. Are y'all here today? I'm going to teach you how yeah. to He said, hold on. No, you don't expect the mirror for to get the crust out of your eyes. That's right. You don't expect the mirror for to brush your hair or to blow dry your hair. Come on, somebody. You don't expect the mirror for to get that soap, get that washcloth, yeah. turn that water on, yeah. and begin to wash it. You don't expect the mirror to do that. But what the mirror does is it reveals the need for those things to yeah. be happy. Yeah. 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 Are y'all here? Yeah. Look what he said. He says, hold on. He says, no, no. What the mirror does is it's convicting. Oh <laughs> the mirror is the thought of persuasion. It's fully persuading you. Get the washcloth. Wash your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Shave. You need to shave, yeah. Glory to God. Go ahead. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Get yourself together. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Faith without works yeah. is dead. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I understand what the mirror does. The mirror is convicting me. Yeah, that's right. Because if I never looked in the mirror, yeah. then I wouldn't be convicted. Right. Uh oh. oh. Y'all see it yet? Yeah. When you look in this Bible, this Bible serves as a mirror. Yeah. I'm going to come get you. Yeah. The Bible serves as a mirror. And if you never look in the mirror, if you never look in the manual, yeah. if you never look in the Bible, yeah. then you will never know you need to say. Watch this now, y'all all right? Yeah. Woo! I'm about to preach myself happy. Now look at this now. I got to see this now. I got to see. Tell you next, you got to see it. You got to see it. Tell you next, everybody get good and good. Watch this. All right, watch verse 12, though. Boy, this thing. Woo, Pastor, see this thing about to get juicy through hell. Because I need you for to understand something. Woo, you about to face your turning point. Yes, 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 sir. Hey, oh, yes, sir. You about to. What you want me to do, Lord? Read it. All right, read that. Let me read what a turning point is. Turning point is a point of time when a decisive change occurs. That's a turning point. Hold on, wait a minute. It's a point of time when a decisive change occurs. Well, we know that's what the righteous correction zone only consists of change. So the righteous correction zone, what it does, it places us in a turning point. Uh oh, uh oh, wait, 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 watch it. A point of time. A point, so it's where time comes to a point and stops. Jesus, go ahead. Look what I said. Look what I said. When a decisive change occurs. See, it comes to a point in time. See, time comes to a point and it stops so that change can occur. Yeah. So you're trying to figure out why it looks like your life stops. Yeah, go ahead. I'm go preaching ahead. good. I'm preaching good, man. I'm yeah. preaching, yeah. I'm yeah. preaching the gospel. Look, look what he said. Are oh, you trying to figure out why my life stopped? Yeah. Why yeah. I seem like I can't make no more friends lately? Come on. Jesus. Why I seem like I keep applying for job after job and can't leave this job? Use bees in a turning point. Go ahead. Go ahead. He's going to use what you bees yeah. for the change your life yeah. for the better. Yeah. You know what I hear? You will be promoted right where you at. Now watch it, watch verse 12. It says, I have, little boy, it's about to get good, bread. It's about to get good. Look what it says. I have many more things to say to you. Let me tell you something. I couldn't go home right through that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. woo, 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 woo. Let me tell you something. I always say it all the time. God never quit stopping. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Now you may quit listening. Yeah. But I'm telling you, he don't run out of nothing to say. Yeah. Oh, that ain't right, Deontay. Y'all know what I'm talking. All right, watch this. <laughs> Yeah. Cause if I told you everything at one time, it'd blow your brains open. Yeah. 
Your mind will explode. If I told, if I really told you everything that I have for your life, and watch it, and everything that you would experience, yeah. you would go plumb crazy right about now. My oh God. yes, you would. See, I couldn't tell you that you was gonna almost have a nervous breakdown and then end up being the very person that's gonna help keep other people Whoa. from having a nervous breakdown. Yeah. I couldn't tell you that because you wouldn't have been able to handle that. You would have tried to keep running from that. To tell you, watch this, that you was going to have to go on a job at the very bottom and work your way all the way to the top so you would be able to have compassion and grace for other people who are on the bottom. I could tell you that. Because if I told you that, you run from me. Watch this, Terry. Watch now. The way he says. He says now, but when he, look at it, look at it, the spirit of truth, oh, Oh, shucks now. Hold on. That's the correction zone. Yes. The spirit of truth. The way he said, he said, no, nah, man. He said, no, no, no. He said, no. When I talk to you, rest assured, whatever I say, that's true. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So if I tell you that your life is about to go to the next level, mm -hmm. although it look like you 75 levels low, yeah. you better believe it because I'm true. Amen. That means if I got to change rules and regulations, but it gets your life to the next level. Yeah. Let me worry about that. Because yeah. I can handle that. Because yeah. I'm God. Yeah. Can nobody vote me in? Can nobody vote me out? I'm God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I started this place. So. Yes, sir. I started this place. So. I started this place. So. I feel a better. I started this place. So. I started this place so that means I started heaven and earth by talking. Whatever I wanted earth to look like, I talked it through. Whatever I wanted heaven to look like, I talked it through. And whatever I said about your life, I talked it through. So whatever I speak to you, you can put your life on it. It's going to come to Watch this go. He will guide you into all the truth. Watch, man. Full and complete truth. Yeah. Watch. For he will not speak on his own initiative. Watch this. But he will speak whatever he hears from the Father. The message regarding the Son. And he will disclose to you oh, uh -oh, what is to come in the future. Oh, wait, hold, hold, hold on, Jeff. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Wait a minute. Look what he said. He said, hold on. He said, Holy Spirit is not going to only tell you about your presence. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. But he's going to tell you what to expect. Yeah. You missed that? That's yeah. a good place to stop all over there. He said, not only is he concerned about your presence, but he's also concerned about your future. Watch this man, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. King James verse said, Study and show yourself approved unto God. Yeah. All right, I'm going back to the man on COVID. Hold on. If he going to show me my future, if he going to talk to me about my future, the only way I'm going to know the language if I'm in the word study. Yeah. I, that's the only language that the Holy Spirit knows is the word of God. Yeah. If I'm not in the word of God, then I won't be on the right frequency. If I'm not in the word of God, then I won't hear the right lesson. If I'm not in the word of God, I won't hear the right instruction. If I'm not in the word of God, I won't get the right breakthrough. If I'm not in the word of God, I won't choose the right. Yeah. Look what it says. Look what it says. Look what it says. Look what it says. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is, man. Man, I'm talking to you. He said, a workman. Look, here it is. That needed not to be ashamed. Yeah. Here it is. Yes, rightly dividing the word of truth. Oh, yeah. Look what it says. The Spirit says, I need you to understand. First of all, there's now no condemnation. That's right. You're no longer guilty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said, what I'm doing is, I'm going to convict you. Watch this. This is so juicy. I'm going to convict you of what you need to handle. Watch this. Both that's right and wrong. Oh, yeah. A lot of times, but 
believer just focus on what's wrong. Yeah. But here, he's saying, wait a minute. Your future ain't wrong, though. Y'all, y'all, did y'all see the context of it? He said, now, hold on. Your future, everything about your future is right. Yeah. Cause you ain't been in your future yet. See, you're in your present. Yeah. We gotta fix that. Yeah. But ain't nothing wrong with your future. Yeah. So what I gotta do, I gotta get you concerned about your future. Yeah. Yeah. He said, so now I'll tell you in your future, we use an example, as a, and in your future, you are a chief executive officer. Wow. Yeah. 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 But you just claiming it and naming it won't get you there. Because you need to first know uh, what's the meaning of a chief executive. Y'all know what I'm talking about. How do I define that? What are the responsibilities? Y'all hear today? I'm about to show you Bible and living life. Now I gotta rightly divide that. Don't see that, don't see that. I gotta rightly divide what he's talking to me about. Yeah. He's telling me, he says, I know you are currently a janitor. Yeah. Let me rightly define that. If I am a janitor, that means I clean stuff. That means I assess stuff. That means I go into stuff and I fix stuff. Uh-oh. That means I, that mean, uh, uh, I can multitask. Yeah. That means I know what people need. I know how to fix stuff. When it's broken, people call on me when there are issues at hand. You are the janitor. Keep rightly dividing that right there. Because the more you rightly divide that, you're going to see that's setting you up for to be the chief executive officer. Because when you are the chief executive officer, you're cleaning up stuff. You're fixing stuff. You're making stuff right again. You're going into different departments and you're handling stuff. You're dependable. You are accountable. You are sensible. I'm rightly dividing. I'm rightly dividing my future along with my present. So I don't mind dealing with my attitude that God is showing me because I know as a chief executive officer, I cannot have a nasty attitude. Person, I gotta be easy to talk to. I gotta know I can fix stuff and have peace. So I'm rightly, y'all all right? I'm rightly dividing the truth. I'm rightly dividing what God has said about my life. Why? Because I'm at a turning point. I'm at a turning point to where a change is occurring in my life. I'm in a place where God is changing my life. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Y'all, y'all here today. Yeah. Look what it says. Verse 5 says, let your character, your moral essence, and your inner nature. Oh, it's talking about that, that inner you again, Pastor. That inner you. Oh, you don't, don't get tired of it. It's good. What it say? Be free from the love of money. Shun greed. Be financially ethical. Uh oh, that's that chief executive officer. Yeah. Somebody got done and gonna get promoted. I'm glad I feel this yeah. guy. Yeah. Somebody yeah. gonna get promoted. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out why God said, Lord, wait, take me to Hebrew. All the guys said, I can't figure out. I know now. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody about to be promoted. Yeah. Now, I need you to understand. Yeah. That's for anybody who that's really right. grabbed that thing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Till I believe it. Till I believe it. No, no, no. You got to understand. Nobody. Let me tell you something. When you come to a place in life where you good, yeah. you promotable now. Yeah. 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 Oh, I just yeah. said something yeah. back yeah. Huh? You get to a place in life where you're like, no, I'm good, dog. I'm good. You know what? If I can't have it, it's still okay. I'm good. Yeah. 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 I'm good. Yeah. Life is good. Amen. Come on, somebody. Life is good. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Life, life is good. Right. Life is every day. It's a holiday. Every meal is a banquet. Life is good. Yeah. 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 I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good, baby. Yeah. You know what God said? God said, shut up. Boy, I got it. Yeah. Oh, I got yeah. to, I got to, I got to get something. You know how it is when y'all use bad room? Yeah. I gotta hurry up. Boy, I gotta hurry up. I got to get something in that yeah. What is that? Y'all all right? Yeah. Let me hurry up. Watch this now. It says, look, look what it says. He says now, about being content with what you have. Uh -huh. all right, for he has said, I will never, oh, sure, oh, sure. under any circumstance, desert you. Yes. No. Give you up, nor leave you, no blessing, without support. Yes. Yes. Look, nor will I, in any degree, leave you helpless. Boy, look, boy, look at these promises. Nor will I forsake or let you down. Mom tells my God ain't gonna let me down. I, mean, I, know that's, I know that's broken English, but it's okay. All right? Look at it. He said, like, or forsake you, or let you down, or relax. My hold on you. Yeah. Ooh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Ooh, Lord, this ain't getting good. Look what he said. Look what he said. He said, no. He said, no. Nah, I'm not doing nothing. He said, oh, surely not. So we take comfort and are encouraged and confidently say, the Lord is my help. Yeah. In time of need, yeah. I will not be afraid. Yeah. What will man do to me? He said, he said, hold on. He said, I need well to say something. He said, you in the right direction zone. Yeah. You in a turning point. Yeah. He said, I'm letting you know I'm not going nowhere. Yes, he God. said, you can relax. Yes. I'm not going to let you down. Yes. I am not going to lose my hold that I got on your life. Yes. He said, matter of fact, I'm about to increase my hold that I got on your life. Hold on a second. When God increases his hold, he increases his blessings on your life. I don't think you see it yet. I, look what he said. He said, I'm letting you know up front. I'm not going nowhere. He said, I, 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 I'm not going to relax my hold that I got on your life. Why? Because you in a turning point. You are in a turning point. This is a decisive change that's occurring in your life. And I know it may seem like that things are going backwards, but that's evidence that you's about to go forward. Yes, God. Yes, God. I need you for the take and say, grab that, grab that, grab that. See that? Look what he said. He said, no, no. He said, I'm correcting. Watch the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Yeah, there it is. He said, the Holy Spirit said, wait a minute. Holy Spirit said, no. He said, I'm concerned about your future. Yeah. He said, oh, your future. It's in my hands. He said, so now I'm connecting uh -oh. every dot in your life so you can go to the next level. Yes, sir. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Tell, tell them, say, I feel a next level praise coming. I feel a next level praise coming. I feel a next level praise coming. I, 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 I feel like a Hebrew boy. On, I may be in the furnace, but God knows how to turn the fire down. He can take me in the fire, yeah. and I still won't get burned. Yeah. Hold on a second. I may be burning. Yeah. I may smell like smoke, yeah. but I need you for the other stand that the fire will not consume me. Yeah. I'm in a turning point. Yeah. Things in my life is turning yeah. around yeah. for the good. Yeah. I'm not ready to run around home, but let's go to the house. Man. Yeah. Okay, now you know what I said? John chapter 5, verse 2, verse through, uh, through uh, verse 8. It talks about the man who had been at the pool for 38 years. The man who had been at the pool for 38 years. He was at the pool for 38 years and um, he was trying to figure out, hold on a second. Wait a minute. I've been here for a long time and I, I'm just trying to understand why I've been here so long. Uh, why in the world it seemed like that uh, this has been an extended stay period? Why does it seem like that one night turned into 38 long years? Uh, why does it seem 
seemed like uh, when I made one decision, it seemed like other decisions were made for me all by itself. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how in the world did I end up on five porches with all these people who are sick, lame, and crazy. I'm still trying to figure out why in the world does it seem like the more I try and put myself in a better position,
gracious correction. It does not mean that things in your life that you're not going to be confronted with stuff that's not the most pleasant. Yeah. 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 But it does mean I have the help of the Father yes. who loves me, yes. who takes care of me, yes. who looks after me, yes. and wants the best for my life. Yes. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, since I met him, whole life changed. Yes. I always say, when I met him, it does not mean that all my problems went away. That's right. Amen. But by and by, he has shown me I don't have to live a problematic life. Amen. I can't live a life that's pleasing to him yeah. if I surrender my all to him. Yeah. Here today, there are many of you, many of you, many of you here today and online, many of you. You're facing different things that you don't even understand. A pastor come to bring you hope on today because that's what the gospel is. It's the good news of Jesus Christ. And the good news is today, you are not alone. I'm careful about telling you, man. You are not alone. God loves you. He sent his only begotten son full of truth and grace that you may have a right to eternal life. So I said, Pastor, I ain't left yet. Exactly. Yeah. You are exactly right. Yeah. Eternal life starts now. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Starts so right now. Yeah. Right now. So I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Believers all around the world are praying. All around the world, believers are praying. All around the world. Believers are praying. There's a wall of prayer going up right now in this moment. A wall of prayer. I'm letting you know you're not by yourself. There are people all around the world praying for you right now in this moment. They're praying for you. Even when they watch the replay, they're going to be praying for you. So the prayers will continue. They will continue 24-7. They will continue all around the world. <laughs> all around the world. Believers are praying. And new converts are praying because they're giving their life over to Christ. New disciples are coming to the kingdom right now in this moment. In this moment. In this very moment. Father, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father, for your people. I thank you, Lord, for righteous correction. I thank you for the turning point that your people are in. Lord, I thank you, Father, for giving them your faith. For giving us all your faith to be able to go through the things that you're doing in our life. Lord, we understand that all things we're going through are not bad. Right. We understand. Matter of fact, Lord, we know everything we're going through is not bad. Yes. Because when it's you, it's all good. Yes. So Lord, I ask you now, give us clarity yes. in the spirit yes. on our level of understanding what we are dealing with yes. and what we are being processed through. Father, on today I ask you, Lord, if you would extend your grace of love unto your people, Lord. Lord, I ask you would wrap your loving arms all around us and allow us to experience redemption on today. Father, I thank you, Lord, for every soul that came to you on today. I thank you for every soul that will come to you on today. I thank you, Father, right now, Father, for mindsets being broken on today. I thank you for change occurring in the life of every person under the sound of my voice on today. God, I thank you, Holy Spirit, for interceding on our behalf for those things that I know not to pray for. So I bless you in advance for all you have said and all you have done and all that you are doing now. In Jesus' name, come on, amen.